Hello friends, I hope you're having a wonderful day. We're excited, we've got some good news to share with you. You know, we just uh, wrote the book, Awaken Sleeping Beauty, and uh, today we're gonna have another Facebook Live, so thank you for joining us. One of the things we want you to do is share this video while we're live and you'll automatically be entered for a chance to win a copy of our new book, Awaken Sleeping Beauty. Comment and tell us how you shared it so we can make sure your name is entered in the giveaway. And then tag a friend and we'll enter them too. We'll announce the winner at the end of this live broadcast. So we've got some good news today. You know, the world gives us bad news, but we've got some good news. And I wanna start off today. First, I want you to have hope. I want you to have courage. I want you to know that God is still on the throne. Though the world is crazy, a lot of things happening around us you can live in a safe place. And I wanted to start off today reading an excerpt from the book. And oh, by the way, the Spanish translation is being delivered today. So all of my friends uh, that speak Spanish in our different countries that we go to, uh, we're gonna have your translation today. And so we're gonna start working it out where we can get that book to you, or when we have a conference, we'll be bringing it to you. So uh, that's good, good news. So we're really excited. Uh, we're getting a lot of excitement about this book because we know that God did it. It was just his dream, it wasn't mine. And it was been in my heart for five years and now one year of writing it and God just has put all the people together. So we're so excited. But let me just show you this beautiful book and let me read something from the book. I was praying about this last night and I wanted you to hear this piece. This is on page eight. Most days my eyes were closed to Christ's presence and I had become a sleeping beauty racing through my own life. But then, then the fairy tale of sleeping beauty became real to me. Remember the princess sleeping for a better part of a century? As long as she remained asleep, so did her family. They were technically alive, but they were not living until a prince, her prince, let it be known that he was going to take on the barriers that stood between him and the castle. His fellow villagers called him crazy for taking the risk. They warned him nothing of value was inside. Oh, but still he persisted. The prince was determined. Some would even say called or compelled to pursue whatever or whomever was beyond the neglected castle walls, breaking down through the layers and layers of overgrowth, covering the castle, it just became his passion. He climbed for hours and hours, fighting through cobwebs, vines, branches, weeds, until he finally reached the top. As he climbed through the tower window, he saw Sleeping Beauty, and he was overcome by her. She was so beautiful. He said, I just had to kiss her because she was so precious to him. And then her eyes were open. She was alive. And as I'm saying this, remember to share this video while we're live so you'll be entered to uh, receive a book and uh, tag us and tag a friend and we'll enter them too. So let me finish this. Not only did the princess wake up, but her family woke up too. And that is why I wrote this book, is when we're sleeping, everyone around us is asleep. The family, uh, our world, our jobs, uh, our community, every, everything falls asleep. Uh, it was our kingdom falls asleep. Anyway, the prince had come for her and claimed her and opened her eyes and her heart to what she was missing. I love how this so marrows what it's like when Jesus pursues us. He loves us, he cares for us. He wants to open our eyes to the beauty around us and help us best live the life he designed for us. It's so much goodness, so much love, so much everything. It's hard to imagine. It's hard to realize. And we're even tempted to think, is this too good to be true? Well, I want you to know, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching, it's not too good to be true. We have an incredible God that loves you. He cares about everything. And when I was praying about it, what I was gonna share last night, God just put a word in my heart and the word was, the promise is coming. God's promise is true. And when he says it, it will happen. 
I want you to be encouraged today. Don't be discouraged and don't lose hope. God wants to wake you up to his promise and destiny. And this is what he gave me. Never give up. The prince is coming for you. And this is incredible. And I didn't even realize that until I got my office today. If you will look over here, never, never give up. And God just confirmed that this morning. This is what the Lord spoke to me last night. And this is my favorite saying, other than something that's written in the Bible. I keep this at my desk because I always remember, no matter how hard things are, how difficult, don't give up. So here's what I want to say. And as I get in this next part again, share this video while we're live and you'll automatically be entered for a chance to win a copy of the new book. Tag it and tag a friend and we will enter them too. Okay, so here, here's a great story. One of the most famous spe speeches ever written and given was by Winston Churchill. It was written October 29th, 1941. And here's what he said. Never give in, never give in, never, 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 never. In nothing great or small, large or petty, never give in. No leader in history matched this battle cry. And I was so blessed to hear a woman tell her personal story about this uh, war cry, as Winston Churchill put it. Uh, her name is Jill Briscoe. She is now 83 years old. She's written over 40 books. She's won thousands of people to God and encouraged them through her books, her testimony, her messages. And here is her story. When she was uh, a little, little girl, she lived in London during the World War II. She was a very uh, uh, small little child, and as the air raids and sirens went off over her home, her family would run to the basement to safety. The bombs were bursting over their home, sirens were raging all through the city as they huddled in the little room in the underground bunker. But here's what she said. Yes, she was surrounded by her father, her mother, and brother and sister, but it was the voice, it was the voice that gave her comfort. It was the powerful voice of Winston Churchill. Here's what's so amazing. The Prime Minister of England said this, we will fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets, we will not surrender. She told how even as a little girl, she heard that voice of courage and she felt hope and all the fear was gone. Well, here's what I wanna say. God wants to give you hope today and courage. Today as women, we hear the news all over the world and we can become discouraged, we can be afraid, and we can be unsure of the future. And honestly, it seems like bombs are bursting with bad news all over us, they're surrounding us. I mean, every time you hear anything on the radio, the television, there's so much uh, negative and it, it, it hurts. It, we grieve because there are people hurting, but we are a people of hope. Remember, you need to hear God's voice through all the noise and all the confusion. Listen for his assurance that all is well. He is our peace. He wants us to live in Psalms 91, and he will protect us, and his angels of the Lord will guide us and, and just protect us and our family and our loved ones. He wants you to remember his promise. He wants you to hear his voice. You have dreams and promises in your heart that have not come to pass. But sometimes you say, it's too late. I've missed it. I've talked to so many people. They go, you know what? I, I missed my opportunity. I missed my chance. And I'm, I'm getting older or I didn't have the right education. I didn't do the, I'm making the right decisions. But you know what? It is not too late. And I know God put this word in my heart to say, you press on, you keep on and don't give up. Don't miss your destiny. You are right on time. Today, get up, look up, because God is the lifter of your head. You are equipped, you are anointed, just like Esther, for such a time as this. The promise is coming. I know so many of you, and we've talked to so many of you, been through difficult times in your marriage, in your finances, in your health, your job, your children, but today, hold on to that promise. Hold on to the good word don't ever, ever give up. Never, never, never give up. Jeremiah 29, 11 tells us to wait for the promise. What has God said to you? 
I know that God has put things deep in your heart and they're not just your your thoughts they're God's thoughts remember your dreams write them down beautiful sleeping beauty because God cares for you I'm gonna give you something wonderful you were born for this you are a royal princess this is your day everything you've been through everything you've learned it is for now never 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 give up daughter of Zion hear the voice within the voice the voice of the father saying this is your day this is your time I have crowned you for such a time as this awaken sleeping beauty you are a daughter of destiny now let me pray for you dear father I don't know who's watching I know there are people around the world in many different countries and oh God let them hear your voice let them have hope today let them have courage and I pray let them run to you you are the rock and let them run to your voice and I pray that you will bless them that you would encourage them and we pray Psalms 91 over all of them that you would protect them and that no weapon formed against them shall prosper and all those that rise up against them shall be shown to be wrong I pray God let the people of God let the people of God rise up and and make a stand and be full of courage and full of faith. Let them make uh, this world a better place. Let them give hope themselves. There are people that need them, God. And I pray today, empower people with love and grace. And we just thank you, God, for this in Jesus' name. Now, I want you to remember to uh, share this video. And we would love for you to order this beautiful book, I Know God. I've, I've, I can't even tell you the response we've had. People have said that it's changed their life, that things are waking up inside of them, that it just laid, laid in their hearts for many, many years. So you can go to judypoke.com. But just, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter. I mean, we are, you know what? We've decided we're going to do this, and we are all in. We're all in. We're there because of you, because God has called us and equipped us for such a time as this. So God bless you, and we'll see you next week. We have a winner, Judy. Oh, we have a winner. You want to announce it? Yes, I do. Marsha Lee White. Marsha Lee White. All right, you're our winner. We're going to get your address. We're going to send you a book. Hallelujah. Everybody, thank you so much for watching, and thank you, Marsha. This is super good. Bye-bye.